Keto is crap and will age you faster than smoking. Stop, keto is aging you, really? Hi, Dr. Eric Westman here with another Dr. Westman Reacts. I was sent a video from uh, Keto with JT. Now, I think JT's had success on a keto diet and is an influencer, health coach. Let's see what he has to say. I posted a video sharing my results from taking a collagen supplement every day for over a year. And in that video, there is some talk about the potential anti-aging effects of taking collagen, like reducing wrinkles, reducing joint pain, and stuff like that. And someone commented on in the comments, and I wanted to share that with you. They said, you wouldn't need collagen supplements if keto wasn't aging you so badly. Try a balanced diet like Mediterranean. Keto is crap and will age you faster than smoking. Okay, <laughs> welcome to Keto with JT. I'm JT, I'm a certified keto and intermittent fasting coach. And today I wanna to talk about that comment. And there's gonna be two parts to this video. The first part we're gonna talk about in what circumstance could this person actually be right? And the second part of this video, we're gonna talk about how this person might be right, just not in the way they think they are. Okay, let's start with part one. Keto is aging you. Now, in what circumstance could that be true? So if someone is following a version of keto called dirty keto, and they're not getting adequate nutrition, they're, they're, they're focusing on nutritionally poor foods, maybe relying too much on processed meats and processed cheeses, and not being careful to eliminate industrial seed oils like vegetable oil and soybean oil and stuff like that from their diet, again, not getting enough nutrition, there could be some potential effects that could resemble aging you more rapidly. So let's stop right there. I decided not to go and look for studies on that specific topic, because if I ask you the question, if I ask anybody the question, regardless of diet, whether it's Mediterranean or keto or carnivore or Whole30 or vegan or vegetarian or anything like that, if you were to ask the question, if you're not getting enough nutrition, what would be the result, right? We, we know this, right? We know if we're not getting adequate nutrition, if we're malnourished, then you're gonna have some adverse effects and those effects could lead to premature aging. Okay, so let's get to part two. Let's talk about why this person's comment might be true. Keto is aging you, just not the way that they might think. In order to do this, let's. I wanna talk a little bit about my own experience, then we're gonna jump into some science, then we'll come back a full circle and wrap this up. First of all, I wanna let you know, I've been doing keto for a little over four years. I started back in June of 2018. For about a year and a half, I did very strict nutritional keto. When I say strict, about 25 net carbs or less, and I did not waver. I should also tell you that the version of keto that I've been following is called healthy keto. It can also be referred to as clean keto, where there is an emphasis on whole, nutritionally dense foods. Since that time, the last three years or so, I've been keto probably 80 to 90% of the time in a given year. I do go off it every once in a while. I am not necessarily so focused anymore on always having to be in ketosis, but to give you an idea, the majority of the time over the last four years, I have been on a ketogenic or following a ketogenic lifestyle. So that said, one of the benefits that I wanted to share with you that was most unexpected, one that I couldn't believe and I still have a hard time believing is that as a result, and it's th this, I started to notice this fairly early on, actually. Um, probably, I don't know, four months maybe? Uh, just a few months into my keto journey, I started to notice, wow, I actually feel better. I feel younger. I feel younger now than I did in my mid 40s. So I'm 51 now, if in case you're wondering. So it's You know, I, I hear this all the time that the reason people continue on a low carb keto diet after they've lost weight or fixed some metabolic problem like diabetes or PCOS or fatty liver, the reason they continue on it is they feel so good. They, they feel younger, they're doing more things, less aches and pains, that sort of thing. So he's not alone and, and it was very interesting to just hear his story. It's what I hear in my office very frequently um, and uh, let's see what he's learned. So is keto aging me? Well, it doesn't seem to be, but you know, that's just my experience and this person or anybody could say, well, that's, you're just saying that and you know, what about, how do you know? All right, well, 
let's turn to the science. So I want to share with you a few articles and a few studies that talk about this topic, and we'll try to go fast. The Gladstone Institutes, they're based in San Francisco. There's an article they posted, actually, this is an older article back in 2012. They said, Keto the ketogenic diet could delay the effects of aging. Such a diet could slow the aging process and may one day allow scientists to better treat them and prevent age-related diseases, including heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and many forms of cancer. So I chose this study because this is, you know, 10 years ago. But now we're seeing more and more studies, more and more evidence showing that the ketogenic diet has actually successfully been used to treat a lot of these things that they're talking about. Moving on, there was an article, there's an article posted in 2018 from the Perfect Keto website. And they say, while not specific to ketosis, the simply low carbon whole foods qualities of the ketogenic diet provide us with many benefits that can protect us from common conditions associated with poor diets, such as heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Getting older without these concerns removes the risk of dying from them, which is obviously good for overall lifespan. In the National Laboratory of Medicine, PubMed, a ketogenic diet extends longevity and health span in adult mice. Watch out for those mice studies, right? <laughs> Best I can tell, there's one mouse study that says low-carb keto extends the lifespan, and one says that it doesn't in mice. So, uh, again, it's going to be tough to just caution. So we have to take that in consideration, right? Be mindful of that. Here's a study found in Trends in Cell Biology. Trends in Cell Biology is one of the leading review journals for molecular cell biology. And there was a study entitled Protecting the Aging Genome. Ketones generated through a ketogenic diet can act as acetyl co acetyl coenzyme donors and could be efficacious as premature aging therapy and attenuate, which means to reduce, the consequences of normal brain aging. Moving on, a study in the Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences say that large-scale lifespan neuroimaging data sets show that functional communication between brain regions destabilizes with age. Okay, so our brains don't communicate as well as we get older. I think we all kind of understand that. And they say it's typically starting in late 40s, and that destabilization correlates with poor cognition and accelerates with insulin resistance. So what does the ketogenic diet do? It addresses insulin resistance. One of the most important things about a ketogenic diet is reducing insulin, increasing insulin sensitivity and reducing insulin resistance. They go on to say that targeted experiments show that this biomarker for brain aging is reliably modulated with consumption of different fuel sources. Modulated means that it is it is affected or it, it is, an, it is uh, changed in, in some way. And then it says glucose decreases and ketones increase the stability of brain networks. All right, and I don't think they're saying that glucose is bad. You need some you need some glucose, right? Your body will actually make glucose as you need it. I think that they're referencing insulin resistance, which is too much glucose over a period of time. They're not saying that glucose is bad. So I found this study in Aging Cell. So the Aging Cell is a journal that focuses on bi the topic of biological aging. There was a study that said a high-fat diet reverses metabolic disorders and premature aging by modulating insulin, which we just talked about, and IGF-1 signaling and SIR-T6 knockout in mice. Another mouse study, but again showing that the, the anti-aging benefits of keto. In the German Journal of Sports Medicine. There was a study entitled Turning Back the Clock of Aging. And this starts with a number of lifestyle factors and pharmacological interventions have been identified that modulate downstream regulatory pathways implicated in health span or lifespan. The aims of this narrative, saying that the purpose of this article or the purpose of this, this study, are to provide a perspective on selected biological pathways involved in longevity and to discuss therapeutic avenues that have the potential to attenuate, there's that word again, attenuate, reduce premature aging and age-related illnesses. Further on down in the study, they say, interestingly, ketogenic diets seem to largely phenocopy the biochemical signature of fasting, activating similar molecular, pa molecular pathways associated with health span and longevity. So can you imagine, based on what they're saying, if you were doing both keto and intermittent fasting on how that could attenuate or reduce premature aging? Pretty incredible. So let's go back to my own experience. I mentioned earlier that I felt younger. I feel younger now than I did when I was in my mid-40s. 
I'm 51, as I mentioned. So I've actually been thinking about this topic of health span and lifespan, you know, the longevity, a little bit, you know, before this person shared their comment. So it's kind of a good timing, right? And in doing so, I started following a guy by the name of Dr. David Sinclair. He's a researcher and, and Harvard professor. He's been studying longevity for many, many years. I think upwards of 20 or 30 years. And he talks about a how you can measure your biological age. We have this thing called your chronological age, or I like to say your calendar age, how, what is, you know, your calendar age, how many birthdays you've had, and also your biological age, how old your body actually is, how old the cells are. And he talks about a company called Inside Tracker. They are a spinoff from MIT or incubated through MIT, and they have the ability, you can go get your blood drawn, send it to them, they look at some biomarkers and they'll tell you what your biological age is. So I've actually done that. I did my blood work, sent it off to the lab, or went to the lab, did my blood work. They sent me a report saying that my biological age is 43. So based on that, it would seem that the ketogenic diet is actually aging me. Just not in the direction that this person thinks. It's aging me in reverse. Very interesting. I, I, I don't know that, um, that what they're measuring in terms of the age, that, that, but um, that would be interesting to see if that's replicated, but in lots of different people's experiences. And of course, the, the you want to pause on the mouse studies, and and uh, he did a great job of reviewing secondary sources, meaning sources that reviewed other things, not the primary data. And there's a lot of theory still going on, pointing toward the insulin resistance is the main bad actor in terms of aging and insulin resistance is reversed by a low carb keto diet but it's a, a leap of faith to say then that it will reduce aging so more studies need to be done i i have a published paper uh some years ago with ron rosedale who asked me to do a paper with uh insulin as the outcome and it turns out that people who live a long time, centenarians, have very low insulin levels, which kind of goes together with the idea that there's less insulin resistance. Uh, and low insulin levels go along with, with lack of insulin resistance. And while complicated, um, the markers and, and some biologic measures seem to point toward some anti-aging effects. I would say the level of evidence isn't enough for me to say it's going to age or not age you, but it's interesting to hear the kind of information that's generated so far. So I would say there's, there's not enough information to say it's going to age you or it's not going to age you. And, uh, but thank you, uh, JT for keto with JT for reviewing those articles for us. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and check out adapterlifeacademy.com.